Hi, everybody. If you're there, say hi. In just a sec, I am making sure I can see you and me all at the same time. And I could tell that you can hear me, so if everything's good, hi Karen. Okay, well, I guess we'll get started. So here is our um, cutting directions for our fabric. And I'm just going to leave it right where it's at because it's in good focus. And you guys can take a screenshot anytime you want to. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it right there, and that will make it easy for you guys so you always have it there. Um, if you are, hi, Judy. Oklahoma, how's the weather in Oklahoma today? It is beautiful and sunny here today. It's about 70 degrees outside, so it's super nice. It's been really cold the last week. Today it's really nice. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Ann. Hi, Sally. Um, and excuse me if I'm a little congested. I don't know what's going on with me today. I guess I've got allergies or something, so my nose is running. But, um, so I will try not to sniffle. I'll do my best not to sniffle. Um, so if you're in the club, you will have gotten the pattern for this block already in your email this morning. Hi, Judy. Hi, Cynthia. And, um, so that's all ready for you to go. And I'm just going to show you how to put these together. Um, there's a couple little spots in the pattern that I found hard to describe in words. So hopefully it'll help to see it in video. Um, okay, so what you need to do is go ahead and cut all of your pieces. With um, the only thing tricky about cutting your pieces is cutting your half rectangles. You're going to have two sets of these. So what I'm doing is I'm just making one block. This, these directions are for cutting two blocks because the two blocks go together and then you have one block that's three and a half by six and a half. I just remembered something. I forgot to cut the, I forgot to cut a little piece. So give me just a second. I'm going to find mine fabric and cut another little piece. Um, so it makes two blocks when you cut these pieces. Well, let me just show you this part first. So if you have, as you can see, this doesn't make a rectangle, but if these, so if you have a solid, it's fine um, to just use Okay, I've, I've been really busy today, you guys, so give me a break on uh, the talking stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, stop, Julie. Okay, these would normally be two rectangles. So you're going to stack your two rectangles, your rectangle of leaf fabric and your rectangle of background fabric on top of each other. These are the um, one and three quarters by two and a half inch pieces. You're going to stack them on top of each other. You have two of each of them. So you stack them on top of each other and one of them you're going to cut this direction and the other one you're going to cut this direction. This is important because if you cut them both the same, then all your leaves are going to have to make the same direction. Of course, you want two leaves going this way. So they have to go like this. You have to cut one this direction and one this direction. If you have a fabric that is... Um, it has a pattern on it is not a solid for your background. You will switch from one to the other side for your um, piece. But since this is a solid, I can just flip it around and it's fine to have it upside down because it's the same on both sides. But if you have a pattern background, then it will go with your other the other side instead. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Um, but it's easiest to use a solid for this one, just to make it easy. So what you want to do before you sew these is you want to make sure that you're making a rectangle. If you try to sew this together like this, 
you come out with a wedge or a kite shape. <laughs> so that doesn't work, right? So you have to flip it around like this to come out with a rectangle. So you wanna put them together like this so they look like rectangles. And then when you go to sew them, you have to offset them a little bit by a quarter of an inch. So make sure you have a little tail of a quarter of an inch right here at the end when you offset them. If you don't do that, then you're not going to come out with a rectangle after you sew it together. So these are the rectangles that are one and three quarters by two and a half. Those are going to be your leaves. And each side you need to offset by a quarter. So it's a quarter of an inch this way. And then if you flip it over, there's a quarter of an inch on the other side too. I hope that makes sense. So these are going to go together when we sew them. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim from Wisconsin. Oh, you guys, hold on just a second. I got to show you what Kim sent me in the mail. <laughs> you didn't know you were going to be put on the spot, did you, Kim? Hold on just a minute. Kim has a business called Whoopsie Paisley Bath Treats, and she is the sweetest lady, and she sent me some sugar scrub, and look how cute it is. It came in the cutest little box wrapped in tissue, and it is just, it's so sweet, and look, it's blue, and it's made with sugar, and it smells so good, and it's so adorable. I love it. Thank you, Kim. So it's Whoopsie Paisley Bath Treats. You can find her at whoopsiepaisley at gmail.com. So let's see, does she have a, do you have your website on here, Kim? Um, nope, just an email, but she's Whoopsie Paisley on, um, on Instagram too. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> yes, very sweet, Kim. Thank you so much. So um, back to our sewing, sorry about that little uh, detour there you guys okay so these go together this way and we're going to sew those just a quarter inch seam regular seam allowance on those um these are your three quarter inch yes super tiny squares so to do your little petals on your flower we're going to put this aside for a minute that's our stem piece that's the one by um one and a half inch piece um these are just regular flip and so corners and I like to lay them out beforehand just so I remember which way they go. There's going to be a corner on the bottom of both sides, excuse my dog, of each of the petals on the bottom and then your two petals that are going to be on the right and the left hand side are also getting the upper corner little um, half square triangle. So they'll go like this. Oh, and this is our little stitchery piece. I got it finished last night. I think it's pretty cute. Came out cute. So, um, and I'm really sorry about my dogs, you guys. I always say, love me, love my dogs, even if they drive you crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and take these over to the sewing machine. And I'm going to sew them up. And I just dropped everything on the floor. <laughs> no, don't put that there. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So my husband just decided to put the box that just came to the door in the seat that I wanted to sit in to sit at my sewing machine. <laughs> the uh,
the show is good here every night, you guys, with the dogs. And the Amazon guy. And... <laughs> I'm just sewing our little leaves. We've got them offset by, I just dropped these on the floor. So um, now I'm trying to get them back together the way they're supposed to go. Make sure that I offset these by a quarter of an inch going the right direction here. And when you go to sew these um, in your machine, you'll see that your needle is gonna come in right where those two pieces of fabric meet. And that's how you know that you have that right. So each of these petals is just going to get a little half square triangle on the bottom. And these don't overlap each other, so you can just flip this around right at the sewing machine before you even go and uh, press them. So I'm just going to flip them right around and do all of the other half square triangles on these right here at the machine before we go and press them. They don't overlap each other, so it doesn't hurt anything to do them before you flip them. This is my favorite print from Woodland. Clara and Plum, my favorite. I think I love it because it's of all the different colors that they used in the tiny little flowers. They've got little navy blue ones and little tiny light blue ones, the gray and the lavender. I like it better than any of the others. And then on our two petals that are on the right and the left side, their top corners done. You have a kitty, so you don't have a barking uh, doggy doorbell. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm looking at what you guys are saying over here. Did I remember to change that over? Because if you just sat here while I was over there sewing and didn't get to, I think not that, uh, not that it was all that interesting watching me sew either. So I always just use my um, scissors to trim off these little tiny corners because I don't bother taking out my rotary cutter to do that. These are the tiniest blocks. So these little flower blocks come out to three and a half by three and a half. Or they would be three and a half by three and a half if you didn't add the top part on. Okay. Got to press these. So 
So tell me what you guys have been doing. I miss you because I haven't seen you since Thursday before last. <laughs> I'm still laughing at Shelly and her kitty. Okay, so this rectangle needs to be one and a half by two when it's all finished. It should come out just about right. I don't have to do much trimming. I just trim off the dog ears. Okay, so I'm going to press the center one out toward the white just to make it easier to, um, to piece together with the outer petals. And I'm going to press the lighter ones in. I'm kind of exhausted. So anybody, if any of you got um, any of the pre-order Liberty, I finished shipping out those orders today, except for one. Because one of the prints, actually three of the prints didn't come. Okay, so we need to make our little, here's our little leaves. And this is our stem. So what we're going to do with the stem piece is we're going to fold it in half um, lengthwise. So that makes it one and a half by a half inch once you fold it in half. And then we're going to take that and we're going to put that in between our two leaf pieces like this with all the raw edges meeting in the center. And I'm going to pin that. I had a hard time illustrating that when I did the illustrations for the pattern. <laughs> so I hope it was it made sense in the pattern. Oh, good Karen. Thank you. I saw your pincushion, Shelly. That is so pretty. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go and sew the seam here, and I'm gonna sew the seam in between each of the petals. That pincushion came out so adorable. Shelly, that you made, I saw that. I didn't do super good sewing these uh, corners on this one petal, so it's off just a little bit. Okay, I'm sewing the stem. The step, stem piece is in between the two leaf pieces. I always find it easier to do stems this way. So I have a couple different ways. If I do applique stems, I do it. I do the same thing. I just fold them over, sew them down, and then flip them 
over and press them. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But okay, so we got those two petals done. This one. There's a little flower. Yeah, those pins. I love those pins, the magic pins. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is I have sewn that piece that was folded over in between the two leaves. What I'm going to do is I am going to open this seam so it's flat in the back. And then I'm going to flatten the stem so that it is flat in the center, in the middle. And then I am going to press that. So the magic pins are awesome. It seems like they're made out of rubber, but they're actually made out of silicone and you can iron over them. That's why I think they're so neat. And they are so easy to lift with those um, handles on them, those little silicone handles. Okay. So I'm sorry, you guys, I'm just reading what you guys are saying over here. I want to look at your um, the questions that you have. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure you guys didn't have any questions. Okay, so here is our cute little flower. It's so cute. Okay, I am going to, so because this is so small, um, I did press this one open. So I pressed all the seams open. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and press the petals open. And because it's such a small piece, if you press to the side, it gets really lumpy. So... I'm just pressing that real quick. Okay, and now we're just gonna sew the um, leaf and stem to the bottom of the flower petals. And then I'm going to have to cut that other piece that I forgot to cut. Mm -hmm. When I was testing the pattern on Saturday, I um, ended up having to remake it a couple of times. Good thing I tested it because I didn't. It didn't turn out the way it should have turned out by the measurements, but it didn't just because it's such a small piece. Um, the triangles the um half square triangles that were on the petals turned out too small so and you couldn't really see them so i had to remake the remake the uh little block a couple of times on saturday and the second time that i made it i didn't cut the last little piece that we need for the top because I wanted to leave one of the flowers undone so that I could do it with you today. Okay. So 
There's our cute little flower. Hi, Marcy. Oh, fun, Anne. Where are you going for your retreat? Is this that one that you um, were supposed to do a few months ago or? I don't remember. Did you say? No, you did. You went to that one. So this is a new one. This must be a new one that you're doing. Okay. So all I'm doing, you guys, is just opening up this seam here in the middle, and I'm going to press it. And then I'm going to cut that top piece because I forgot to do it. Sorry about that before we got started. So give me just a sec. Ah! Dropped my iron. Okay, there's our little flower. And here's our other one. And now I just need to cut that piece that goes across the top because I didn't do that. And I don't know what I did with my fabric either. Hate to have to cut it off this big, huge piece, but I guess I'm going to. So the piece that I'm cutting is the one by six and a half inch piece. I just forgot to cut it for this second block. I had a bunch cut, but I don't know if I have. Nope. No fun to try to do this with um, not enough space. <laughs> I just realized I need a new, I must have run over something with that because I need a new um, blade on that for the cutter for sure. It cuts and poke it off. Oh, it did get canceled. I thought you said that you only. Oh, hmm. Well, I am glad that you get to go on your retreat. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so here's a six and a half by one inch piece. We're going to go sew these two flowers together, and then we're going to sew this to the top of it. So this week is virtual quilt market and it's kind of funny to do quilt market through zoom, but it's um, interesting. <laughs> so um, I just had a meeting with somebody just before we came on today and we're just talking about um, her patterns and things and she's in Australia. so. She's like, I just got out of bed and it's so early in the morning. <laughs> it's funny. 
it just reminded me about that when you're talking about going to a retreat. I am hoping, I'm pretty sure we're going to have Quilt Market in Houston this fall, which will be nice. Okay, you guys, I am just pressing real quick before I go back and sew that last piece on. And I'm pressing all of these seams open except for um, the half square triangle ones because this is such a small block. It is way too bulky if you press it um, to the side on all these little pieces. Okay, so here's our little flowers. And now I'm just sewing this one piece to the top. And I'm gonna be a good girl, I'm going to pin it. So normally I am um, an excessive pinner, I pin a lot. <laughs> but I haven't been doing it lately when I've been on videos with you guys. I don't know why, I think I've just been in a hurry or something. I really want this one to come out nice, so I'm going to pin it good. Because I think it's really cute. And I love this block so much, and I think it's so cute that I'm going to make it into a bigger size. I want to make a whole quilt with this flower block. So it's not going to be um, like a double one like this, but a square. And I'm probably going to make it either 6 or 12 inch. Maybe 9 inch. We'll see. Maybe I'll do all different sizes, 6, 9, and 12. Okay, it's ready to go. How many blocks do we have now, Dee Dee, for the button sampler? Or for what? How many blocks do we have now for? I think I'm going to go ahead and press this toward the white, even though I don't normally do that because it's so much easier with all of the um, seams. Okay, here's the little flower block. Cute as a button. This is number three. And if you guys don't want to do a piece block and you'd rather do um, embroidery, this is what the embroidery turns out like um, in the colors that I picked. You can always pick to do different colors if you want to. And okay, here's our flowers. And I pulled out some buttons, some Tilda buttons, so I could show you exactly how this will look. So I thought what would look really good on these cone flowers is these big buttons. I didn't take any off the card. So these are, these will make it look like an echinacea for sure. So once you have it sewn into your little quilt, then you can put your little button right there. And that'll make it look like a little cone flower. And then with this one, if you have some of these smaller buttons and those little 12 millimeter ones that came with um, apple butter, they look really good in these little flowers. But like even these ones, these little 15 millimeter ones look really cute right in the center of that or over here in the center of this flower. 
It was really cute like that. So, or you could even do two or three of them on these, like if you had smaller buttons and you didn't have any of the bigger ones, you could do three like this to make your little echinacea. Yes, I would definitely put the buttons on after you have sewn it together. Then you don't have to worry about where they're at or whatever when you're sewing. It makes it easier. But it's always fun to, you know, you have to look at, you have to like put it together and see how cute it's going to be. And then you can put it away for a little while. <laughs> So I'm kind of like really in love with this block. I had originally thought of piecing a piece right here. Um, but then when I saw it with a button, I thought, oh, it's just too cute with the button. It's got, got to have the buttons on there. So, um, and it looks really cute with the three buttons too. If you have some of the smaller buttons, like some of the buttons from Woodland would match really good on there. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you guys like this. And if you got your email this morning, if you're in the club, um, you got the pattern in the email this morning. Otherwise, you won't have the embroidery, but um, with these directions, you have what you need to cut out and make the little um, flower block if you want to. So I hope you liked it. And if you're in the club, I will see you on Thursday. We have a guest speaker coming this Thursday. And she's somebody who's really special to me, who I think is really sweet and wonderful. I hope you guys like her. And, um, and then this Saturday, we have our show day. So it's a good week. Thank you, Kim, for your um, sweet little gift. I love it so much. It's really precious. I'm going to get a picture and put it on Instagram too. Thank you so much. Hi, Patsy. You're welcome, Dee Dee. See you guys later. Have a good week. Talk to you soon.